Implementing Microsoft Azure Infrastructure Solutions Exam Question number 2. You administer an Azure website named Condiso. The development team has implemented changes to the website that need to be validated. You need to validate and deploy the changes with minimum downtime to users. What should you do first? A. Create a new linked resource. B. Configure remote debugging on Condiso. C. Create a new website named Condiso Staging. D. Create a deployment slot named Condiso Staging. E. Back up the Condiso website to a deployment slot. Correct answer, D. Explanation. The deployment slots feature for Azure websites allows validating a version of your site with full content and configuration updates on the target platform before directing customer traffic to this version. The expectation is that a deployment slot would be fully configured in the desired target format before performing a swap. Question number 4. You manage an Azure subscription. You develop a storage plan with the following requirements. In the table below, identify the storage redundancy type that must be used. Make only one selection in each column. Correct answer. Question number 6. You manage an Azure website for a consumer product company. The website runs in standard mode on a single medium instance. You expect increased traffic to the website due to an upcoming sale during a holiday weekend. You need to ensure that the website performs optimally when user activity is at its highest. Which option should you select? To answer, select the appropriate option in the answer area. Correct answer. Explanation. Note, the small instance is selected. This setting would be for the weekdays. Then you would select a larger instance for the weekend schedule setting to cover the increased activity. Question number 8. You plan to deploy a cloud service named Contisop that has a web role named Contisau Web and a worker role named Contisau Image Purge. You need to ensure the service meets the following requirements. Which configuration should you use? To answer, drag the appropriate configuration setting to the correct location in the service configuration file. Each configuration setting may be used once, more than once, or not at all. You may need to drag the split bar between panes or scroll to view content. Correct answer. Question number 16. You administer a Microsoft Azure SQL database database in the U.S. central region named ContisoDB. ContisoDB runs on a standard tier within the S1 performance level. You have multiple business critical applications that use ContisoDB. You need to ensure that you can bring Contiso DB back online in the event of a natural disaster in the U.S. Central Region. You want to achieve this goal with the least amount of downtime. Which two actions should you perform? Each correct answer presents part of the solution. A. Upgrade to S2 performance level. B. Use active geo-replication. C. Use automated export. D. Upgrade to premium tier. E. Use point in time restore. F. Downgrade to basic tier. Correct answer. B. D.